has happened that it has like because other people started having these conversations show me a little bit more about what you were doing in your room like show me this uh, now they're getting excited like hey y'all this is the stuff that we're sending to honey this is the stuff we're showing her so it really still had a great impact wow. and I think people are still excited about it, but it was just new to them. <laughs> yeah, and vul what's so interesting is how vulnerability actually was this catalyst for everyone to start becoming more intentional, where your yeah. teachers are asking each other, tell me more about that. Like, that's a ripple effect that you weren't even necessarily planning for that really happened. Yeah. So, you know, as a director, this was, you know, a significant investment of time, of yeah. money, of resources. How do you look at the training, you know, now that we're looping back at the end, how do you view the entire program and, and the benefit that it's really given your school and your teachers personally? So I think it's all encompassing and that it laid a framework for our learning for the year and that we got rooted and grounded about what we were focusing on, which was intentional play. Outside of that, too, it takes allows teachers to take some ownership and responsibility of what their professional development looks like right yeah. so now the other two was it two or three like the support sessions that, that I get the recorded webinars from yeah. they get to choose for um, February and March some of our cold months where it's kind of tricky to kind of get out for that one hour they have to follow up on two of those and so they can do them at their pace they can do them in a team yeah. um, but that's kind and then I'll have like I want to create some like little worksheet just so they can give me some feedback from sure. so it's you know, showing them that there's other ways, even like if you take it upon yourself to look up something else, like how you can take that initiative and then be able to come back to the group and share, you know what I mean? So yeah, something different than the traditional PD when you think, okay, sit and get, you know, everybody's doing this one thing. It's like, no, choose what you need, but then talk about it in your team. So I'm really facilitating like, what does that team conversation look like? I love that. And people you know choose what areas they need for their own classroom because everybody has different needs I love that I love that that was such a big takeaway for your school because yeah. that's exactly the way I structure the, the my professional yeah. development this is not sit and get I'm not here to just feed you yeah. I'm, I'm here to help you start thinking differently and become a leader in your classroom so I love that that was a really transparent result for you yeah. so yeah. you know if if you're talking to a director who's thinking about, you know, this is a program I want to invest in. I'm not sure. There's so much time involved. There's so much, you know, it's a big investment. What would you tell someone who's like on the fence about committing to something like this? I would tell them that it was truly a worthwhile investment and that it's something that it really allows people to take ownership of their own learning and what their needs are because you can personalize it so much. And the value of being able to get support from a facilitator but then also hear and listen from your peers was so valuable and brought us together as a team so I think that would be one of the biggest takeaways and then it makes it so easy right it's this whole new technology piece the webinar like they were totally amazed it made my less technology savvy people feel confident like wow we really wow. feel it right so it hit yeah. so many different things it just wasn't about the PD they got from this but it was about you know how to go on and do a webinar how easy it is and now if we see you know just other recorded things like how to really take part in that so and being creative with that because I don't have a lot of money to send my staff away to like these big big conferences and things like that this, you know way it's like they can still take a part of that and even be with other people that's not right right there with them. Like we're yeah. all connected now through this internet space. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so I'm so, so glad I did it. I'm so glad. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Yeah. And it was a, it, it was an incredible experience working with you as a director because you really yeah. took ownership as well. And I think it's important for directors to know that that when you make this investment, you can't just put the burden on your staff. Like, okay, Connie's gonna just deal with the staff right now. It wasn't about that. You were a massive facilitator, and that that's yeah. why we have our calls together. Um, mm -hmm. because I think that your accountability piece and helping them filter what I was doing through their lens, um, and just helping like them understand that better really really brought the results that you were right. looking for so I love that I think that's yeah. you know amazing and then you also provided a lot of a different perspective for me in terms 
of support because I like that idea of saying Rhonda you know take different pictures and post them even when I do my weekly updates like what does that look like that we take a few minutes out of a staff meeting and just say okay now look at this picture you know like let's take this provocation it's something real something from something you know somebody's classroom and so that they won't feel like okay you're being put on the spot not for a bad thing or a good thing it's like you know how to facilitate those conversations and take that time because one of the things that I really tell my staff is that we have to take the time to be intentional about our reflection right we could just be so so busy that you don't stop and take that time to think about how did this work why did it work like that and what would I do next time right and so and that's what intentional play is about yeah yeah I I like that yeah I, I love you know just where where it went with you um